Hi, this is Tutor Nick Payne. This is Word Origins 150. Uh, the word origin today is 40 winks, and we'll also be covering the word uh, wink, you know, meaning sleep, too. Okay, so let's take a look at the note here. Uh, if someone says he or she is going to take, grab, catch, etc., 40 winks, it means he or she wants to catch a short nap. Uh, usually not in bed. Uh, it is uh, similar to the idea of a cat nap, like the type of nap you might take at work or while you're out for the day. Then we could say that to catch 40 winks, even though I think sometimes people do use it at home too. Even if they're going to like lie on the couch or something, maybe they might take 40 winks. Now, of course, we all know the regular meaning of wink today. When you like open and close one eye, uh, usually it's meant more as a signal. Like, you know, you might wink, you might wink at someone. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes it's to give somebody a signal. I think in the old days, it, it kind of meant to, you know, that maybe you like somebody <laughs> too. It could mean that you, uh, like winked at someone, you know, attracted to them. But, uh, here, of course, we're talking about 40 winks and we're talking about wink, winks in reference to sleep. All right, let's, uh, let's continue here. Uh, the phrase can be traced back to the early 1800s. Uh, one of the earliest citations comes from a self-help guide by Dr. Kitchener's Self-Help Guide in 1821 called The Art of Invigorating and Prolonging Life. Yeah, invigorating means like giving you energy, you know, to invigorate you, make you feel refreshed again. Prolonging means, you know, extending life, making life longer. So he probably wrote some sort of guide, you know, giving you advice on how to do this. All right, and here's, uh, all right, so we say here, all right, so basically here's his quote. A 40 winks nap is an horizontal posture. So to him, the original idea of was, was not like not in bed. A uh, horizontal posture is the best preparative, you know, preparing you for something. Preparative for any extraordinary, you know, extra special um, exertion of either. So exertion means you, you use a lot of energy. You exert the energy of your body. All right, so that's the way he said it originally. All right, let's continue. Uh, in former times, some people used to say nine winks. And even today, you may hear some people say they are going to catch a few winks or some winks. All right, so the nine winks probably would have been before this 1821, this might have been in the 1700s or 1600s. Some people used to say they're going to catch nine winks to mean like um, a nap, but we don't hear that anymore. Nobody says nine winks anymore. People usually only say 40 winks, or they may say this other one, you know, catch a few winks or some winks. Sometimes you still hear those. All right, let's continue. Um, okay, good. Um, Catch if you wait. All right, good. So the use of the word wink has meant sleep uh, since the 14th century. Uh, okay, here is a quote by William Langland. Okay, uh, then waked I of my wink. Now remember, you know, sometimes I write some on the board when, you know, if something was written in the 1300s, 1400s, English was pretty different then. I mean, you could recognize it. I mean, this then here is really just supposed to be for then, T H E N, but. Of course, you see it's spelled different here. Uh, wake it probably means that he woke up. Uh, past tense of wake. Uh, I of my wink, my, my wink, my, my sleep, my nap, uh, basically. So in the 13, 1400s, it, that's what it was still used to mean like a sleep or a nap. All right. Um, so we get a my, my wink. From the Pierce Plowman, that was the, the writing that it came from in 1377. So it goes all the way back to that time. This is also related to the phrase, not to not get a wink of sleep. Yeah, sometimes people say that. If uh, somebody says they didn't get a wink of sleep last night, it means they got no sleep at all. They were awake the whole night. So even a wink would sound like, like a short time or a short nap. They got no sleep. I didn't even get a wink of sleep last night. So sometimes you do hear it used that way. All right, let's continue. And we got a couple of examples to show you how we use this today. I want to grab 40 winks before we go out later. Yeah, so again, yeah, basically a short nap. Um, all right, number two here. If you are taking care of small infants, 
you have to learn how to catch 40 winks while they are sleeping because you know, they can wake at any time. You can be awake half the night. So when they're sleeping, that's your chance to catch 40 winks, you know, just a short nap in between. Hopefully you'll be refreshed. I don't know, not an easy thing, but that's what they might say. And we got one other little note here right at the end. Uh, even today, the word wink can still refer to a short period of time. Uh, in the amount of time it takes to open and close your eyes. Like sometimes we say something happened in the wink of an eye, meaning in this very short period of time. So it happens that fast, almost like you just open and close your eyes quick. Something could happen in the wink of an eye. Okay, anyway, uh, I hope you got it. I uh, hope it was informative. Uh, thank you for your time. Bye-bye.